Um, I, li- I like that introduction, but um, he's uh, he was like, oh, he's been in loads of movies and stuff, and all of you are now going, which ones? <laughs> so, fuck you, Mark. <laughs> he has proved that abortions should be mandatory. Um, but it is good. Be, it's really good to be back in the UK. Um, I have missed. I have missed you guys so much. I think I've, I've just. I've just. I've just missed the alcoholics. Really, I think <laughs> you're all on one island together, right? And you know you've got a problem, but you can't see your way out, so you might as well drink more. <laughs> That's what it feels like. Um, but yeah, I live in. I live in LA now. <sighs> It's not as good as you think. <laughs> I hate it. I fucking hate it. I've got a huge medical bill. I am... <laughs> Basically, I went to Lord Crazier. Should I tell this story? Uh. <laughs> 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 I wo- so I woke up with amnesia four years ago. Um, I, f- I forgot... I forgot all my memories. I forgot everything. I forgot my name. I forgot everything. And um, and people keep asking me how that happened. And I'm like. (laughs) 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 It's just the most unbelievable amount of trauma, right? I forgot everything. Like, it took me a couple of years to, like, trust my own name. Like, the only reason I know my name is because I woke up with my ID in my pocket. And when I was taken to the hospital, I was like, oh, this is Eric, okay. I didn't know. Like, imagine the Bourne Ultimatum films, but I woke up with zero skills. (laughs) He woke up, he had a purpose. He had to get beaten up, and he beat up other people, and then he had sex with women, and then they died, and then he had even more purpose. Like, I woke up, and I went, what am I? I, l- I lost everything. <laughs> and I swear that w- like when I came back from the void, like <laughs> I swear I brought someone else back with me. <laughs> like cuz I'm not alone. I'm not alone anymore in here. It's mad and I can't tell if it's me but me observing myself or whether like in the void I brought back like a demon or something, which would be a very smart way to like take over the planet, right? Just you wouldn't expect a comedian to be a demon, right? <laughs> um, and the reason I'm thinking, oh, maybe I'm some sort of demon or something is because a few months before my amnesia, I wrote a script about a, a pandemic, and then I had amnesia, and then I w- was in a pandemic. <laughs> and so for a brief but very real moment, I thought I did it. I'll tell you what's really nice is it's actually quite therapeutic to hear all of you laughing (laughs) because it was hell. It was actual (laughs) fucking nightmare. Like, I cried enough for many lifetimes because I genuinely thought that, like, you know, I'd see people in masks and I was like, oh, my God, I did that. And then, like, (laughs) people would be like, oh, my grandma died of COVID. And I was like, I'm so sorry for your loss. I really, I really believed that I, d- I did it. And it was, it was brief, that belief, because I was like, it's illogical, right? Either I manifested it into reality, which is a lot of power, but now if you fuck with me, I'm writing you in my next script. <laughs> or, or it was a moment of clairvoyance, right? And like th- it was always going to happen in the future, and somehow the future quantumly traveled through me, and I was the universe's conduit, and I wrote a script, and I didn't know that it was going to happen until I then woke up in it, and I was like, fucking hell, I did it, right? <laughs> and so I'm in Los Angeles. Oh <laughs> <laughs> I know it's far-fetched what I'm saying, and <laughs> it's not as funny as all the abortion stuff that he was doing. But I didn't know I was going to do this story, okay? I'm improvising this. I'm <laughs> just a B. Um, <laughs> you know, and it all made sense. I was living in Miracle Mile. I was living in the City of Angels, right? So all of a sudden, I was like, oh, fucking hell, I'm having like a religious experience, man. And so I'm not even religious, but it was, <laughs> it was all there. It was all the signs were there. And so... I was taken to hospital, and I escaped it. And 
they found me a day later just walking around Santa Monica, just like, aha, like really happy. And so they strapped me to a stretcher. I was 5115 under California law code um, so because I was a danger to myself and others. And <laughs> so I was taken to an asylum for five days, and now I'm back in London. Ting, 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 ting. <laughs> Try and cancel me now. I've got nothing to cancel. <laughs> I was so cancelled, everything was gone. Um, so does anyone have any questions? <laughs> <laughs> um, like the only way, the only way I was able to sort of release a little bit of the responsibility that I did COVID was... Like, the trickster in me, you know, because there's comedians, there's clowns, there's jokers, there's low-keys, you know, there's all these different levels of, like, pranksters and realities. And okay, ev everything that I'm saying is so fucking weird. <laughs> I'm hearing myself as an audience member going, levels of pranksters and realities, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> but in a way, it's true, right? We're all the multiverse right now. You're the universe experiencing itself, but through your unique filter. So when you really talk to someone else, you're talking you're talking to another part of the universe. It's fucking cool, right? Shut up. <laughs> so <laughs> some of you are going, mm, tell me more why you were in an asylum. <laughs> it's true. Um, yeah, the only way I, I relieved the responsibility is at one moment I was just I was crying so heavily about the, the all the murder, all the murder I did. And <laughs> And um, a voice, it, it was me, but it, was, it felt so ethereal. It felt so like other. And it, it, it said, what was it? Um, what was it? Um, oh, a death is sad, a dozen is tragedy, but millions, that's an achievement. <laughs> and when I heard that, it made me laugh. It was like the first time I'd laughed in a couple of years. And I was like, yeah, it kind of is an achievement, wasn't, isn't it? And I'm laughing and crying at the same time. So, so that's me. <laughs> that's my that's my life. I live in the U.S. I I had to sign a piece of paper saying that I'm not allowed guns. <laughs> Even America was like, no. <laughs> <laughs> like, like that's when you know you've won America. <laughs> They're like, no, 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 no. But I was just gonna shoot some kids. Ah, here you go. We weren't going to give you one because we thought you were going to commit suicide. <laughs> yeah, after. <laughs> Be nah, 12 kids. Fuck, the cops are coming. Quit. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I like how you laugh. You laugh in your mouth. You like you, you hold your mouth while you're laughing. <laughs> 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 You're allowed to, like, let me see you laughing. I, I, I feed off of it. <laughs> that's, that's, that's the kind of demon I am. I, I, I feed from the laughter. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> hell. It's really hard to date now. Like it's impossible to have a conversation with me. Like I, I, I so I've, I've, I didn't do. So I did stand up. In, I started stand up in 2008. It was going really well. And then I, with the amnesia stuff, I sort of stopped. So I haven't been on stage for about four years. But I've still got it. What a fucking legend, right? <laughs> and it just oozes out of me. And so, wow, so humble. <laughs> um, oh, what was I saying? What? Dating. Dating, thank you. But luckily I've got an excuse, right? I'm just, oh, I'm ninja. Um, <laughs> yeah, dating. Yeah, it's just, it's just hard to be a normal person in life while I'm walking around with all of this. Like, you don't know if this is an act, right? I could all, this could all just be a story. But I'm, for real, I, I walk around with all of that in my head, right? And it's just hard, like, it was hard to get a job. Like, oh, what's your name? What is her name? Get out of my office. <laughs> get out of my office. This is good, isn't it? That was good stuff. You're all invited except for you. 
I, I just hate the way you laugh. <laughs> because I think it's a genuine laugh, but it sounds so disingenuous. It's like... <laughs> <laughs> so all of you are invited, but not him. Don't bring him again, okay? <laughs> uh, <laughs> thank you so much. Bye-bye. Thank you.